This is End Screen Noise, and my name is Colin Dixon, and we are at DW 2018 in Los Angeles, and I'm talking with Tosca Musk, who is CEO and founder of a new SVOD service called Passion Flix. So, Tosca, tell us about Passion Flix. Well, Passion Flix is an OTT platform that focuses on taking the billion-dollar romance novel industry and turning them into movies and series and releasing them alongside perfectly, specifically curated content uh, licensed from the studios. Right, and you're not just licensing content for this, you're actually creating it as well, right? Absolutely, yes. We take, as I mentioned, the billion-dollar romance novel industry, we take these movie, these books and we turn them into movies and series and release them every two months, roughly. Very good. And so you're really very new. You started in September of 2017, and you've got quite a slate of movies uh, scheduled for this year, right? Yeah, so we started in on September 1st, you're right, and then we released three movies last year. We'll release our next movie in March, and then we'll have six more, including a series this year. And how is this? How how is it priced? And how did you arrive at that price for the for the service? Well, our pricing is five ninety nine a month, with some introductory rates at three ninety nine. And we came up with that pricing because that's what the average romance novel is. It's the average romance novel costs uh, five ninety nine, and uh, with a lot of the intro rates, the pre release uh, prices for novels are around three ninety nine. Very good. Now, one of the biggest challenges for smaller services, particularly when they're starting up, is finding their audience. Mm -hmm. um, how are you doing that? This is a very passionate group of people. How are you reaching out to them to, to tell them about the service? Well, we work, as I mentioned, with best-selling novels and the authors. These authors themselves have very rabid fan bases um, and so we work with them to reach out to their audience we also have a strong social media presence of our own that we've created over the last six months to a year uh, so we most of it is through word of mouth we go out to the immediate fans of that specific book but these books have sold anywhere from a hundred thousand to a million copies so there's a there's a strong audience for them already uh, and then we rely on them to spread the word as well and are you also looking, you're working very, very much with social media, I expect, right? Tell yes. us what you're doing there. Well, we have a strong Instagram and Facebook account. Um, you know, we have about a following of 70,000 people, which isn't massive, but when you consider that we've only been around for a few months, that's significant. Um, so, we, uh, so we have our regular Facebook group and we have our strong Instagram group, uh, but then we also have a a, a private group called the Founding Members Lounge, and those for the those are for the people that are strong supporters of Passion Flicks. There are a few thousand people that are strong advocates for Passion Flicks that have come on and financially supported us, but at the same time. Um, they spread the word, they bring on other people, which is wonderful for us. And so we provide them with sneak peeks uh, at all the footage, behind the scenes, moments that nobody else gets to share. So we create this sort of exclusive world for them. Yeah, and really that, that really draws them in, I expect. Absolutely. Now let's talk about the experience for just a second, because you, you have a very specific experience to help your users discover the content, right? Talk, talk to us about that. Yeah, well, we wanted to make it a little spicy and a little, in, a little more interesting for a woman. Um, something to, you know, have that, maybe the water cooler effect. Um, so we, cre we put our movies into categories based on feelings. So when you look at other platforms, they will put something like Notting Hill right next to Sweet November in the romance category. And if I've watched Notting Hill, I go, oh, wow, that's a beautiful romantic comedy. I'm going to watch Sweet November because that must be the same. But instead you watch Sweet November and it rips your heart out because it is, you know, people die. It's so sad. It's a beautiful romance, but it just, you just want to, you just cry. So that, we, what we wanted to do was we wanted to take those movies and still have them on our platform, but be able to differentiate what category they should be in and how it's going to make you feel. So we would put something like Notting Notting Hill in Love and Laughter, and we would put Sweet November in Tissues and Ice Cream, because everybody needs a good cry, they and sure you're do. absolutely welcome to have those feelings. Um, so that's why we like to have our categories uh, under the emotion, so it's basically how you're going to feel afterwards. Um, and then we have another way of categorizing our movies, which is called the Bon, or Barometer of Naughtiness. And in this section, we like to, uh, you can choose from one, which is uh, mild, uh, one which is oh so vanilla, and five, which is not safe for work, so don't watch this at work, you'll get fired. Um, and, uh, and then in between, we have uh, mildly titillating, passion and romance, 
and toe curling yumminess. Mm. So that you can really feel, again, going with the feelings, but it's that sexy uh, side of things. Uh, so it's, it's, it really sounds like it's, um, it's, it's doing a great job in categorizing the, the levels and, and there's, there's that playful aspect to it as well. Absolutely. Which I suspect works extremely well with that, with that audience. Um, so it sounds like you're going to have a busy 12, 2018 promoting and, and boosting the service. Um, where, do you, where do you hope to be at the end of this year? What's your, what's your objective? Well, we hope to be a significant player in the uh, OTT content space. Uh, we certainly hope to be a significant player in, I think we already are, in a way, uh, in the female content space. But uh, our hope is uh, to be a pretty big studio. Uh, well, I hope you come back and talk to us towards the end of the year and let us know how things are going because Absolutely. it sounds like a great service. Tosca, I would love to. Thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you very much. This has been Colin Dixon with Endscreen Media.